title. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different and today we're going to be talking about what is church like in basic training. Now this is something I never see people talking about which I'm really shocked about but I really want to make a video about this so if you like to see what happens keep on watching. So yes guys today we're going to be talking about what goes on at church and basic training and we're also going to talk about the religious services that you guys can take when you're in basic training. So first things first we're going to get into our little sheet because I do not want to miss anything and let's just get started so number one is church or religious service is not forced on anybody so for some of you guys watching you may not even be that religious some of you guys may not believe in god and that is perfectly fine you know religious service is not forced on anybody in basic training it is all up to you and what you want to do and things like that they also they also ask you you know what is your religious preference when you guys are in reception and that takes place and you also get dog tags that will have you know like what your preference is and all that stuff but yes guys that is the first thing is church is not forced on anybody but it is encouraged and it is recommended and we will get into that a little bit later so number two is you're probably wondering you know what services are offered in basic training for religious services so we're going to go over the main ones that are offered so the first one that is offered is of course christianity and you know catholic catholicism which is like catholic you know so those are the two popular ones that are offered in basic training they also have um jewish services they have hindu services they have buddhist services they have islamic services and they also have some really interesting ones such as pagan and they also have hispanic services for people who are comfortable in that language which is really cool so that is that now you're probably wondering you know what if you are you know, Seven Day Adventist or Jehovah's Witness, are there services for that? Now, when I went to basic training, I went to Fort Jackson and for some reason, they didn't really offer ones like that, such as um, Jehovah's Witness. However, they will have accommodations for you if you speak to somebody. They might be able to um, send you to a different location. You guys will definitely have to go with like a battle buddy or something, but that can actually happen. I know a lot of people are very curious about that. All you have to do is just uh, speak to your drill sergeants and they will connect you with the um, chaplain and then you guys can discuss uh, any kind of thing that can be done if you really need to go to that service because everybody is entitled to their religion and everybody has freedom to practice what they want. I do remember there was a girl who was Buddhist and there was no services for her which is pretty unfortunate but they were able to connect her to somebody and she was able to get bust to the specific temple or building so she could practice her religion, which is really cool. Okay guys, so number three to know about religious service and basic training is the drill sergeants cannot be there with you. So you don't have to worry about the drill sergeants smoking you while you're trying to pray or trying to like yell at you. They're not allowed to be there, period. Religious service is religious service. It's a time of prayer and a time to feel at peace and different things like that. Number four is we're gonna talk about what goes on. So we're gonna talk about the Christian one in particular because that's the one that I went to. Um, I also wanna mention that just because you're Christian or Jewish or Muslim doesn't mean that you guys can't go to other services. That is really cool because there was a time where I kind of wanted to check out, you know, what goes on in a Jewish temple, you know, what goes on in the Hispanic, you know, temple. So you guys have a really, a uh, cool way of kind of seeing what other people practice and it's really cool you don't have to just go to a specific service just because that's how you were raised or that's how your family is okay so number four is we're going to talk about the christian service so the christian service is really fun guys i think 80 percent of the people i went to basic with all went to that specific one and there's nothing wrong with you know staying in your room and we're we are going to talk about that too so let's just say you guys don't feel comfortable going to church or religious services you guys can definitely stay in your room the drill sergeants will also not mess with you um you guys will 
uh, have a choice to like read a book, you guys can write letters to your family, or you guys can clean. That is something that they really want people to do on Sundays. If you're not doing anything, if you're not planning on going to any service, they want you to be cleaning, or you could actually take a nap too. That's also something we like doing, okay? So I know I'm kind of all over the place, but now we're going to go back to what goes on in a Christian service. So when it comes to the Christian service, there is a lot of great music. Now, this is one of the reasons why I loved going to church and basic training. I loved going to church because it was just a place where I can just clear my head, I can pray, I can talk to God, I can read the Bible, and I can be around my battle buddies who also have this, you know, share the same faith and things like that. Also, we're gonna talk about like who preaches because you guys are probably wondering, you know, who exactly preaches. Now, when I went to basic training, we had a civilian pastor, you know, conducting all the sermons and all the readings and stuff. However, you know, it could depend on where you were on where you are. You might have like a chaplain who is like a company commander or a captain leading the service. It's honestly up to the base on what they have. But typically, it will either be a captain or it'll be a civilian um, minister, pastor, or if you're like Muslim, it'll be like the imam. Or if it's a Jewish service, it'll be the rabbi who's like either a civilian or a captain who is Jewish or something like that. So number six is we're going to talk about some fun facts about going to church and basic training. You guys are actually able to get baptized if you want, which is really cool. A lot of people got baptized for the very first time in basic training. It was definitely such a beautiful service. It is amazing. Number seven is they do offer a lot of free things such as free t-shirts, Bibles, which is really nice. And basic training is a very stressful time. So I totally recommend, you know, going to church if you really just want to pray. It's not forced, but if you just want to feel free and you just want to be around good music. Some people didn't even believe in God, but they still went to church so that they could hear some music because in basic training, you don't have your phone. So you want to hear something good. You want to hear something good. You know what I mean? And number eight on some fun facts and just some things you guys should know is they do offer a lot of great programs if you are feeling kind of down or something you can always talk to the chaplain also too when you guys are in church they do kind of separate the gender so you guys will be in a big room so the girls will sit on one side and the guys will sit on one side just for safety things and you know it is basic training they don't want people you know kissing during the service or whatever or holding hands so that is pretty much it guys that is what is expected in church and religious service and basic training if you guys have any questions leave them down below and i love you guys so much stay safe peace stay blessed